Guys, this is Astronox. This is my third account on the Europe server. Let's do some arena PvP. Now, I bought it. I have Alexa's basket. Let's see if. Well, I mean, Moonlight Dreamblade is better for safety. But let's try some RNG. Let's see if we get lucky with uh, the greater attack buff because the crit chance buff, well, I don't need it because I'm at 100% crit chance. Let's see if uh, we can get it to trigger and uh, do some cool things. Okay. Let's get in there. Who will I attack? He's made Chloe, man. He's made Chloe's pretty rough. Let's refresh this thing. Okay, could fight Krom. It's just Seaside Bellona, man. She is so annoying. She is so annoying, and so many players are using her. Okay, I have an extra memory imprint on Krow. I, I have a can. I pulled a, another can. Because I use Covenant bookmarks to summon, I tried my luck. I got enough dust so I can. I bought the uh, Alexis Basket artifact. So there's that. And at least the duplicates that I got, well, were heroes that I use a lot. So that's really cool. I didn't feed Ken into Ken just yet because if I go with martial artist Ken, let's say, well, yeah, I would like to power up his uh, his memory imprint with uh, with Ken. But it's all undecided yet. I, I I have to I have to think about it. I have to think about it. Actually, on this, I could go with this. I could go with this. Let's attack. Charles, you've got Elbrus Ritual Sword. Now, there's nothing. I can't do anything here. So like I have to attack Charles if martial artist can. Gets hit. He's gonna counter my face. And then there's her that counters all the time. Now there's a lot of debuffs, but not on so many heroes, so I will just wait. There's also the enable to be buff debuff, which is on Arbiter Vildred, and if Alexis Basket trigger, it might have triggered, it won't do anything because that's a buff and it can be applied. That's another uh, pretty big downside to that artifact because I didn't cleanse that's the problem man I, I cannot apply the defense buff I can't apply it so it looks like Vildra is gonna just die from uh, ML Ken here and that's what happened Okay, well, crit chance buff. Something triggered. Unfortunately, I have to go for Charles. Man, the constant pressure from her. Let's clear all that. Let's work on Seaside. Okay, time to go here. Crow, I mean, he's getting healed. I had to do it. Now I can apply this, push her back. Oh, well, not gonna be much. She she was at like 10%. Great, got provoked there. Maybe I get the greater attack buff. Let's see. Oh, crit chance buff. Not that one. We gotta keep him alive, man. Oh, man, he's got the fence down. Okay, S3 is up. Kral's gonna be the one targeted by martial artist Ken. He's at low, at a lowest uh, HP threshold. No, please, grit. Oh, I got her. Okay, she's gonna die. That's good. That's one down. Three to go. Okay. Wait, she's not even dead. Are you kidding me? Don't be afraid. What is this? He's got the fence down. You know what's gonna happen on that one, right? I will be targeting. 
Oh my god, we got the buffs. We got both of them. We got both of them, boys. We have to do it. We have to do it. Look at this damage. Okay, let's see this. Oh man, he's getting countered to the face and he's dying, but at least a worthy sacrifice. There we go. Oh my god. Nice, didn't even land a crit. Because he got decreased hit chance. Nice. Let's work on Charles. And you're out. That's cool, because I don't run attack buff, so... Alexis Basket is, uh, I mean, it can come in handy for sure. And that was beautiful, because, uh, I mean, with the focus and everything, you know, that was a lot of damage. I mean, on Charles, it wasn't much. He's pretty tanky. Of course, I would need defense down to really deal insane damage. But still, it's way more than I would have dealt without it. The 75% attack buff is great. It is greater attack. So, yeah. Cool. It did speed things up, that's for sure. That was the previous season ranking, and that's how I got my portrait. Number 14 there. That's the defense I'm running right now. It uh, seems to be working alright. I did change the stats on Fallen Cecilia. She has a lot of effectiveness now to land those annoying provokes. To, you, to really use those properly. Okay, let's reset this thing and see. Okay, there's this player. I want to see if we can trigger greater attack buff. Here we go. He's definitely... My Arbiter is definitely dying from this. But he's got that second life, baby. So let's go. Let's go. It's not gonna one shot him. Oh my god, almost. Oh man. If I do get greater attack buff, he uh. He's killing Arbiter for sure, and then he comes back with an attack. Now this Tina can uh, save us. Save us, please. Save us. Okay. Our brother should be able to survive. Let's try to take out Seaside. Okay, good. Greater. Well, let's let's go. I mean, we're landing a kill here. He is probably dead now. Oh my god, look at how little health he has. Yeah, okay. Quick one. Okay, who else? Got some flags to burn. They have some solid sustain. I fought player number five and that violet with Cartuja, man, it's it, it's too annoying. It's too annoying because I can get uh, countered by Violet if the, the second attack of Arbiter Vildred hits him and it's deathly dangerous. What the? Okay, well, have seven flags to use, so let's start with, hmm, yeah, I don't know about this player five, that's going to be a lot of, uh, yeah, I'll go, I'll do it, 
But what's gonna happen is uh, Fallen's gonna get skill level fire going. Hmm. I can't survive this. But damn it, I'll definitely die with Arbiter. I'll have to break some skill nullifier to actually deal damage with uh, Arbiter. Well, there's not much that I will... Uh, I guess I will hit them. If I can. Okay, let's take out someone that... If I do go after Seaside, I got two chances to miss. Two. I got 50% chance of missing twice. Might as well go on Vivian. Nope. Big rip there. No buff. I'll still go for it. Decrease hit chance. Yo, did I land that on all of them? Oh god. This is gonna hurt so bad. Ooh! That's great. Shall I have a go? Perfect. Let's just buff ourselves here and uh, I guess I'll switch to Seaside. She's definitely the biggest threat on that team. It's just a constant pressure. No crit. Alexa's basket triggered, but no. Ah, uh, oh, what? He survived, but yeah. If I S one, it's gonna, it's not gonna do anything actually. Let's break. Let's break one of these skill nullifier. I guess we'll do Arbiter Vildred. Oh baby, here we go. Here's the greater attack buff. Let's do it. Oh my god. There's his attack. Uh oh. Oh no. Wow. That was pretty close. Okay, let's uh let's take out Vivian. But wait. I got decreased hit chance. If I go and fall in Cecilia. And I haven't able to be buffed debuff, so if I go S3, I don't get the buff. Let's just use that like this. Now, the time now I take out Arbiter with this, and there's only Fallen left. Arbiter Vildred will die. That's fine, he did his job. So it's cool. Well, I'll take the, the gamble on that. Looks like I didn't get it. No crit. No hit. Wow. Did he, did he even break the shield? Crow with like a sliver of his HP. It's okay, this thing I will keep him alive. Almost 5k healing on that. Celestine with S1. 
I don't even have skill. I'm not getting the healing increase on S1 as well. Pretty sure it boosts the healing of Celestine if I get the skill ups. Well, let me get these two uh, these two wins real quick. Actually, let's just do it here. Let's uh, let's cleave it with Ox Lots. All right, shall we clean up? I mean, this like never happens. But I need to burn flags actually quickly. I mean, Alexa's basket could trigger after you boost with uh, Argus Laws. Like, he could uh, get an upgrade from normal attack to greater. How long was left on that? Yeah, I don't have time to wait. What do you think? I guess they want to drop in ranking so they have e an easier time. And then... Later in the week, just start pushing again. That's what I was doing in Summer's War. It does make things like it makes things much easier, especially players that. Oh, yeah, greater attack buff. Man, even got the crit chance buff. Imagine you go for a gamble build and you go 50% crit chance. You could do some pretty crazy stuff. All right, back in Legend. So that's 10k. Let me wait on that timer. Okay, let's see what we got. Hmm. That's player number one. It's just a combination of Seaside plus Arbor of Vildred, man. It's it's so annoying. Let's go for Nightfest. His rating is actually 100 higher than me. Let's try it. But man, the skill Null of Fire plus Crimson Armin plus the Evasion, Moonlight Dream Blade on Arbor of Vildred. That sounds like... Doesn't sound like a fun time, but still, we'll, we'll go in there and test it out. Okay. Let's also gotta be careful with Arbor of Vildred. Oh, this one is going first. Okay. Well. That's unfortunate. I, mean, I could kill. Oh! It's fine, it's fine. I didn't want to do this. I was going to get the crit buff, anyways. But it's actually better to just do it like that now. It's, if he's running Moonlight Dreamblade, I don't want to attack him. And I should not attack him because I need to break some more skill nullifiers. Let's go fall in Cecilia. Okay, it looks like it doesn't break it. Because they have uh, invincibility. They actually have to take damage. Actually, no. And yeah, take damage even if they have berry has to deal like damage to the berry at least. So let's get that nullifier off. Oh my god, no 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 no. That's so bad. There's two heroes I can attack. 
Let's just go with uh I'll probably just Destina's going next. Okay, let's just attack like this. Oh god. I trigger his Moonlight Dream Blade. That's why Moonlight Dream Blade is so good, because I mean it works with Assassin Cartuja. You get a boost in survival, you get the attack buff if it triggers. I mean it's great. Yo, what is going on with this Arbiter Vildred? What? Just keeps triggering dual attacks. Well, I'm provoked. There's too much pressure. Uh, Cartuja is not gonna leave me alone because Arbiter Vildred is at the lowest HP threshold. So, yeah. I'll just attack Fawn, maybe I get defense down. Because they have uh, debuff immunity. To be honest, I'm I'm dead. Like it's fallen, Cartuja, Arbiter Vildred. They're, they're just going crazy on uh, on my Arbiter. That was a terrible matchup. I mean, I, I should not have attacked this player. Wow, and Moonlight triggers again. Yeah, let's just get out of there. <clears throat> so you see, like I'm seeing comps that they're just really annoying to deal with like Arbiter Village is not gonna do it for me martial artist cannon would be doing better but I mean would he deal enough damage to down them in time before the lightning stacks too high probably not dark corvus can just go in one shot he can just one shot so that there's that it's gonna be a decision that uh, well I will have to make just not gonna, not gonna be an easy one. That team number one. Let's go for it, man. It's uh, it's early in the week. You know, there's just, well f five days left. Five days left, and uh, I should test things out. I, I like to just test things out. There's no reason for me to just climb as high as possible because. Players that count to me will just like attack my defense and bring me down. So better testing out. Yeah, with Bazaar, unable, unable to be buff, debuff, Seaside Bellona. Uh, well, Arbor is getting triggered there, and even if he gets the greater attack buff, it doesn't matter because they have. Kill notifier. Might as well. Well, she will counter no matter what. There's the decreased defense, uh, decreased hit chance debuff that I can apply. So there's that. Hmm. Unfortunate, gotta go with the five focus. He's just too squishy to, to work with my comp. My comp is way more tanky than him. Much tankier than him. Gotta go on Bazaar, man. He, he's got to go. If he stays there, he's just gonna mess our stuff up. <laughs> Man, was get was getting real close here. Crow with his S3 on C side. That would have been beautiful. But now it's not gonna happen. Let's just buff ourselves. She's uh Ah, she'll lose some combat that's not that much though. No provoke, that's good. No attack on Arbiter. That's also good. Bazaar is going here with S1. You know what? I'm gonna do this. I, I'll push him ahead. I don't want him to lose the defense down. I wanna deal some damage to him. Okay. One down, three to go. 
actually four, because you gotta kill Vildred twice. This is low enough. If it's not, well, she'll have lost a decent chunk of her HP. Oh yeah, that's it. I don't think I will... Will I kill him? It doesn't matter. It, he's gonna come back and I'll take him out anyways. But I don't think I'm gonna kill him with S3. It deals two times more damage than it dealt previously. He's still gonna have like 25%, like around a bit less than 20% HP. Light. In case of a dual attack, we're not quite ready to go for him. Ooh. Oh baby. Well, he's he's about to get ripped in half here. That's fine. Arbiter Vildred did his job. You can rip now. Thank you. Now let's switch to Arbiter Vildred. The problem is that he's gonna S3 us again. Decrease hit chance. Yeah, I'll take that gamble. Even if I don't crit, I think he dies. Oh, nope, never mind. He won't. Oh! Nice! Got the crit. Even dual attack. That's a, that, that was an overkill, though. Since I'm baiting three different elements, RGB. It does, like I've been saying, increase the survival of uh, like a light or dark hero. Especially dark. I mean, dark. There's n light threats. They're not on defense. I mean, there are some light threats, but not not five star one. Like I don't see Judge Kise on defenses. There's some players in the top of the ranking. They're using her on Euro uh, in Europe, but. I'm not there. I'm close, but I'm not there. I mean, a fighter Maya, of course, would just like destroy Arbor of Vildred. It's just so much damage. Okay. Let's refresh this. Hmm. I could try to go for player number two. <laughs> Dark Corvus. Oh my god. Like, he's not good on defense because his soul burn almost doubles his damage. But he's gonna use it on the lowest HP hero. Or I would need like a light bait, like a Ruel of light, like any light hero that can take the hit to bait him. Well, I do have General uh, Purgus. Actually... Uh, replace... Krau with him? He doesn't have enough gear. I'm not gonna have Aureus. I don't think I need Aureus. Okay, that's gonna be the last battle. Let's just test this out. Yo, he's not tanky enough. But still, like, we got attack buff from him. I don't even have his gear on the right side powered up. Can I even, like, put... A piece that has more HP than defense. I mean, it's not bad if I go with defense. What well, he's got this the gear he has is total garbage. It's total garbage. This is actually pretty decent. This is good for survival. It's a crit set, but it doesn't matter. Oh, I have this, but this is built for offense. 
Hmm. You know what? Whatever. Let's just go with that. But really, he should have. He should have a piece with defense. Oh, he has the boots already. Okay, let's not push it. Yeah, we'll go with that. Can's gonna be under heavy fire from Seaside and from Kral. Perga is gonna tank uh, Dark Corvus until he dies. But you should be able to take the hits. We'll see. Oh man. Uh, yeah, there's gonna be Destina on uh, Arbiter Vildra. That's fine. I need to. <laughs> Yo, this team's tanky and there's Seaside just to annoy us. I gotta clear the debuffs. I'll go crit chance. Let's just do it. Oh, Seaside is squishy. Let's do it up. Yeah, keep on giving us combat shrewdness, that's good. Give us some more combat shrewdness. Oh no. She was able to go before. She cause our I mean Seaside was dead on that. Seaside was dead. We have attack buff now. Let's try to uh, grind her down. Okay, more combat units. I mean, General Purgus is definitely good on offense. I should give him some better gear. It's just I need to mola his skill too, so I uh, so like we get more combat units. Yo, Ken is uh, taking some damage. Let's heal him up. Okay, but that's not it. That's not the one. Yo, can she just die? Oh man, I think he survived this. Yeah. Kinda low. You're kinda low, dude. Let's uh let's take out Seaside. She has to die, man. Yeah, she's dying for sure. There's no way. She she was squishy. Yeah. Yo, we need some heal on Purgus. Need some heal on Purgus. Their Destina is gonna use S1 anyways. Crow, he's just gonna use S1, he's gonna go on Ken. But we could provoke Destina and uh, get us some combat readiness. There's that option. But if she did trigger a dual attack, we'd be in trouble. We'd be in trouble. Idols cheer. Yo, we need to, uh, ooh. We need to heal up Ken. I don't want him to die from their crowd. Let's attack this Tina. She's got idols share, but still. Uh, yeah, her S3 is on cooldown, so we need to take her out. Let's provoke her. Didn't work. Okay, she dies here. Good. Crow. Okay. Top everyone off. Deal some damage to Crow, but nothing crazy. The issue is that... You know what? It doesn't matter. It doesn't even matter. My can's not gonna die. 
Pergia's not gonna die from uh, Dark Corvus, it's fine. The amount of combat readiness we got from General Pergus was beautiful so far. Imagine imagine I have his uh, S3 uh, powered up like with minus one turn. Imagine he uh, he has more combat, he's giving more combat readiness with the passive. All that stuff would be really good. Nice provoke there. Let's just heal Ken and give him some combat trueness. I mean, at this point, it's safe. Like, nothing can really happen. Why don't we get greater attack buff? Speed things up. Why not? Thank you. Uh, let's just take Crow out first. Oh, he's gonna die from the burn, but he's dying here anyways. Okay, well, sorry, you're not killing him. See, the damage is really not high. You need Soulburn. You need Soulburn, you need Molas into skill 3. Do they that? I can't see it. I don't think they have Molagoras in 2S3. But Durandal is like... It's good when he's on defense. It's just that... You can just bait him. You can just bait him and then... He's never gonna kill your, your light tank. If he... Because he can't soul burn. He can't soul burn. He can't do it. If he's wearing a rage set, you know, if uh, if the target he's gonna use it on has target debuff, if he's wearing portrait of the savior, if all these things are uh, active, right? Like, yeah, he he could one shot. He could deal a lot of damage without soul burn. But that's a lot of things, and he needs Mola into S3, and he needs like 25 uh, K plus HP for that to work. Let me just show you my stats, and that's going to be it for this one. One more on that, then I'm going to be working on S1 and 2. But yeah, Arbiter Veldred, he, he definitely has weaknesses. Of course, the, bu the, debu uh, the nerf that that's unfortunate but he was too strong before now if I'm using skill one and there's ML can on the other side yeah if it hits him if the second attack hits him he's gonna counter and probably uh, blow up my Arbor of Vildred so that's that's an issue if Violet's on the other side where is he Violet's on the other side uh, skill one the enteric hit will like it will trigger his uh, counter attack. It gives two focus to Seaside Bellona, but he deals a lot of damage, right? If you had skill ups into S1, especially, and like it, it reduces combat shrewdness, like it, it's it's a really solid hero, and he can be used in so much, so many different areas of the game, which is, I mean, he is the the only Moonlight Nat Five that that can be brought to so many different areas of the game. The thing is, you can bring martial artist Ken as well in a lot of places in PvE it's just that he's not gonna perform the same DPS as uh, as Arbiter Vildra he just won't and also if it, let's say I have martial artist Ken well if I bring him on offense for arena and guild wars I mean let's say it's arena then there's a lot of times where he's just not going to be using his counter and if I would have him and I would build him I would not even build him with crit chance I, I would just have him uh, get 100% crit from his uh, counter attack trigger that's how I would build him because I need him to be really tanky I need him to have a lot of effect resistance because I don't want him to get like destroyed easily I want to put him on my defense as well 
as using him on offense. It's just that if I build him that way, he I would not build him with... Uh, I don't think I'm going to have enough uh, st stats. Like I'm already aiming for so many different things. High, high HP, decent amount, decent amount of defense, high effect resistance. I need some attack in there. I need some crit damage in there. And then uh, the, the counter will get the the crit chance. But that's so many stats. And his survival stats, his base survival stats, they're not that high. So that's, that's an issue. I bring him on offense. He's not going to deal anywhere as close as Arbiter Vildred in terms of damage. But... If he's built properly, he can definitely take out uh, Seaside Bellona. I mean, that's one. And then, like, all, like, any team. I could go for teams that have a lot of AoE heroes. And he's going to be countering a lot, which is cool. But, yeah, I'm going to have to decide. Arbiter Vildred, Dark Corvus, Martial Artist Ken. I mean, I, I've, I've been even thinking about Maid Chloe, but... If I had some some offensive characters like I already have Crow paired with Crow, she's very strong. But like if I had a Bloodblade Karen that I invested a lot into, that that increases that would have increased my chance of picking her, because together they they are crazy, man. They're crazy. But like even on my defense, I ha let's say pairing her with some bruisers. Crow, uh, a healer, like, that would be really tough to take out. Really annoying to deal with. And bringing her on offense is actually really good. But I feel like, yeah, that's going to be PvP for her. That's it. That's going to be it. Even on defense, she's not so great. But, yeah, I've been thinking about her. She's definitely not a bad choice. Judge Kise, I mean, I'm not going to farm a bunch of speed to power up my auxiliary lots, right? But that's the thing. I'm farming for uh, round, uh, like turn two. I'm going for turn two with this uh, this account farming golem, eleven still. And I don't think that Judge Kise would work. She has some good survival stats, about the same as Arbor Vildred, but she doesn't have that extra life. That's what pushes Arbor Vildred ahead. But I, if I have her, like, yeah, I could do it. I could farm some speed. I could have her just, like, it's just I need Taggy Hill powered up or use two copies. Anyways, that's just some stuff I've been thinking about. But I will I will probably pull on her banner uh, with Mystic. So if I do get her, I'm trading Arbiter Vildred for sure. But, yeah, I'm not there yet. I'm still uh, brainstorming this whole thing because I might not get a Moonlight Nat 5 for a really long time. Really long time. So, gotta be careful. So yeah, that's it for this one, guys. Thanks for watching. I'm Astronox. Like, comment, subscribe for more. Press the bell icon for like to be notified whenever I release a new video and check out my other videos. They should be showing up on the screen now. Playlists of all sorts. Arena, Guild Wars, Guys Tips and Autos and Abyss War 62+. Plus. So check those out if you haven't. And also join my Discord server. The link is in the description. Good luck with all you do in the game. Peace out for now.